Well, you've all been wondering where we are, so now the secret's out. We've been to Warbirds. Jack and I would like to thank everybody at CAMS for the great hospitality, Sean. Oh, this one's a nice looking plane. Should be best in show, this one. Oh, hang on a minute, that's mine. That's not a warbird, it's more like a war duck. A great display part. <laughs> Tanks, jeeps, good bit of fun. Just going to do a short walk down the flight line here. And I hope you don't expect me to know what all these plans are. But enjoy the walk anyway, and the music, and the comments you can hear. <laughs> ah, ye old grasshopper. No, that one's not mine. Mine was retired injured. Great collection of Spitfires and Mr. Smiths here. A little bit smaller than uh, the bigger ones you'll see in later in the video. This is Greg's turbine powered vampire. You'll see this fly later on in the video too. And just in case you weren't impressed with the first walk by, it's the same one looking from the other side. Yes, Jack, Jack and I left uh, Albany on Friday. Arrived here Saturday and we did a bit of uh, glider flying with chat with the boys. And now it is the uh, main day, which is the Sunday. So we're all getting ready to uh, roll the big ones to fire up and everything to start happening very soon. Yes, they do sound real, don't they? They actually use a real miniature jet turbine engine. I think the cost starts at around $2,000 just for the engine, so you can imagine how much money is flying around here. Uh, nice electric powered one, nice and quiet. All the other planes you can hear in the background are flying around at the same time. So it can be a little bit tricky, it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, just for the visitors to camps today, uh, please avail yourself to the food and drinks at the canteen. Uh, uh,
Wow. After that, I think the lead sense is a little more gentle. Now we'll have just a mixed collection of Tekoff, Mannings and Flybots. Now this looks interesting. Here's Greg with his vampire jet, turbine powered. Let's have a listen. moment we have all been waiting for. The local flying club, full size aircraft, will put on a display to entertain us. <laughs>
and now the final surprise, an 80% size Spitfire. And with a real person inside. So this is a local guy that's up uh, Keith Russell, is his name, he uh, keeps this up at White Gum Valley Airfield. It's an 80% Mark 24 Spitfire, a supermarine. What's this? motor supercharged and it's capable of 440 kilometers an hour. speed pass and then he'll go up high and do a few uh, rolls and bits and pieces and then uh, he'll be back to his base. And as Warbirds comes to the end, 2021. I'm already looking forward to the next one. Fantastic field guys, what a great job you put on. I'd just like to thank everybody, all the guys and girls at CAMS, for the hospitality and being a caretaker overnight wasn't such a hard job. So until next time I see us, the best from Steve and Jack. Hi everybody, Jack and Steve here. We'd just like to thank you all for watching. And um, just remember, please subscribe and we'll, you'll get messages when the next video's got. Isn't that right? Yes!